Hey guys, it's Raphael, and here we have a Wolverine kit. Um, as you can see, it comes with a uh, arm with a severed head, which is kind of cool. Uh, I did add stronger magnets because they were pretty weak, so we did do that. Uh, sorry, I didn't record that part, and he is already primed up. Uh, here's the regular head, and it comes with, of course, its other head. Um, so we'll be painting this yellow and brown as the client likes. Uh, we will be adding some blades on here. I don't know why they didn't have them. Um, I guess I assumed by adding blades here would hide the uh, that head, but we're gonna add some on there. Hola amigos, aquí tengo un Wolverine. Vamos a pintarlo azul, uh, azul. Perdón, este amarillo y café. Uh, tiene sus dos cabezas. Este sí le aumenté este imanes porque estaba muy muy débil los imanes. Um, y le vamos a aumentar este navajas aquí ya que no viene con las navajas tal vez porque pensaban que se tapaba la cara pero yo creo que estaría muy bien tener esas navajas igual ok vamos a empezar ok hey again using the FW uh, acrylic inks yellow con las pinturas que voy a usar okay, I'm using a little darker yellow in the crevices Estoy usando un amarillo un poquito más oscuro. Ok, what I'm doing now is using uh, a little a bit of brown transparent just to shade it a bit. I, I You can just keep the yellow, which looks ok, but a little brown, you have, just have to be very careful. Um, so this would just bring out the muscles a lot better, I think. Ahorita estoy usando un poquito de, de café transparente para la sombra pero no tan fuerte porque no no, no no debe verse tan oscuro de café ok, now we're going to use silly putty and cover all the yellow area because we're going to paint the brown vamos a usar este, esta pastelina que es silly putty, no sé cómo se llama en español para tapar todo lo que es amarillo y empezar a pintar lo que es este this is actually very time consuming but you know it's easier to use putty than tape esto es lo que tarda bastante pero es más fácil usar esto que usar este uh, uh, que se puede decir este chinga tape fíjense como se dice tape en español um, ok bueno vamos a empezar we're going to go with uh, a light brown first uh, and then we'll go from there vamos a empezar con un color café claro y luego uh, oscuro después de eso ok now we're going in with uh, some darker brown uh, ahora vamos a usar este un café más oscuro uh, and yes I'm using Tim Gore's bloodline as well um, but you can use any other paint uh, what I'm going to do right now is just uh, Give it some shading in the crevices. Lo que va a hacer ahorita con esto es darle sombra. Okay, now that I have some dark shading in the areas, ya que tengo las sombras hechos, I'm going to use the same color and just mist it around it. Not to disappear the shading, but to give it uh, a little uh, more brown tone in the light areas. Uh, voy a hacer el mismo este café para no esconder la sombra sino nada más echarle un poquito más de café a todo ok, now we're going to seal it sellarlo de nuevo, as always ok, now we're putting, uh, covering up the other area so we can paint the belt estamos tapando lo demás para poder pintar el cinturón alright, now we're going to paint the belt, we're going to paint it white first. Vamos a pintarlo blanco primero. Okay, now we go in with the red. Ahora el rojo. Okay, now we go in with the red. Ahora el rojo. And I'm now adding a little bit of shading with uh, black over the dark brown I did before. Just a little bit. Ahorita le estoy poniendo un poquito más de sombra con color negro, pero muy, muy, muy poquito, no tanto. Ok, 
pretty cool. Uh, then we just go in and fix, you know, little areas with a brush and get the detail on there. Same in here with a little black brush. We go inside. Con una brocha se se arreglan los 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 áreas que que no se ven muy bien. Right. I also uh, got the heads going. También ya empecé con las cabezas. Okay, and here I have my eight colors um, to start doing little splatter on the faces and on the uh, arms. Aquí tengo los ocho colores que voy a usar para uh, darle el tono de, de piel a uh, los brazos y a las caras. And I'm going very subtle y muy suavecito. You know, you barely see the stuff, but it actually makes a difference than just, you know, skin tone and and shading. So right now I'm just doing the white. Estoy haciendo el blanco. Y no se nota tanto, pero si hay una diferencia que nada más poniéndole el color piel y sombras. Going in with the red. Un poquito rojo. A little bit of green. Now remember, I am sealing after every color. Recuerden, estoy sellando la pintura cada vez que cambio color. Por si me equivoco, lo puedo quitar. Now the blue, very subtle. Ahora el azul. Now some purple. Now, you don't have to go in this order because I just, I mean, I've done it uh, starting with white, starting with red. I mean, I change it around, but I just do the same colors anyway. No, no tiene que ser en esta orden. Pueden empezar con cualquier color que quieran. A bit of the brown, light brown. El café claro. Okay, so what we're going to do before we paint the base is make a copy of the blades uh, for the right hand. That way we can add them to where he's, you know, the one where he's holding the head, which uh, I think will look pretty cool. Uh, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es hacer la copia de, de las este, navajas para ponerlas en la otra mano que está agarrando la cabeza. Uh, now, I could use silicone, which would take, you know, depending on what silicone you use, four hours to 24 hours to dry. That's going to take forever, so I'm going to do something different. I'm actually going to use dental uh, uh, alginate, uh, which will, you know, dry, you know, like in two, three minutes. Uh, and because all I need is just one copy. Uh, lo que voy a hacer, en vez de usar silicón, que puede tardar en secarse cuatro horas a 24 horas, depende de la, uh, la, la clase que agarren, voy a usar este, el, uh, la impresión que usan los dentistas para dientes. Eso se seca en unos tres minutos uh, y va a ser más rápido. Now also, I'm not going to make the uh, uh, blades in uh, resin. These actually have a wire in them, so that's, that's what makes them, you know, not break. Uh, so I'm going to make them out of dental acrylic since I, you know, I can't put the wires in there. Um, uh, so that will be a lot uh, harder to, uh, it will be just as good. Uh, lo que voy a hacer es, uh, estos tienen un alambre adentro, entonces por eso están muy, muy bien y no se quebran tan fácil. Yo voy a hacerlas de uh, acrílico de, de dientes, lo que usan los dentistas para las dentaduras, y eso es bastante fuerte. Alright, so, uh, let's get this going. So it's going to be equal amounts of the powder, alginate, and uh, water, and we'll try that out. Va a ser igual, igual de partes, uh, una de agua y este una de, de polvo del ni sé cómo se llama en español alternate uh, and of course aquí cabe perfecto the blades las navajas you know they fit perfectly not all the way down I'm not going all the way down you know just enough to get the blades
Okay, that took about maybe two and a half minutes, maybe, eh, oh, closer to three. Uh, to, más o menos como tres minutos y ya se secó. Entonces, ahorita... There we go. Entonces, vamos a usar el líquido acril, uh, resina acrílica y el polvo de dentadura. So, we're using the uh, acrylic... Uh, liquid acrylic resin and the polymer which is the powder for dental acrylics uh, you know it's what the same stuff they use for dental stuff and we're going to mix it up uh, and this will take a while so we'll let that dry and cure uh, for about maybe 20 minutes what's that look it's like one of 20 minutes Okay, now he does have apparently hair here and the way they did that was sculpting it in so I'm going to see if I can enhance that by just uh, adding some uh, black paint in there and wiping it off and hopefully the black paint will go inside the crevices which will simulate the hair. So let's see how that works. Tiene pelo los brazos y están hechos así como con escultura. Entonces vamos a ponerle pintura negra y, y tallarle y, y este ojalá si eso ya se vea como uh, pelo. I fuck, I, I suck in translating Spanish. And we're going to use uh, five minute epoxy. Vamos a usar este el pegamento de cinco minutos y vamos a mezclarle uh, sangre artificial. And we're going to add the uh, blood effects uh, and make it look more realistic. And maybe uh, some drops on the uh, right hand. Y unas cuantas gotas tal vez en el, en la, en el lado uh, donde tiene la cabeza. Right guys, so here he is. I guess that. Now the logical thing would be to add blood right here, but it wouldn't make sense if he if if the customer displays it without the head. Why would the blood be there? So uh, I didn't put any there. Uh, no le puse sangre aquí, que sería lógico, pero porque si lo lo, lo este usa la otra cabeza, uh, el cliente pues no es lógico tener sangre ahí sin motivo. Alright guys, we'll see you next time. Hope you learned something. Hasta la próxima.